All the growth in Idaho puts a strain on our transportation, our cars, our roads, but also on our water. And much of our state's water comes from the eastern Snake River Plain Aquifer. But the amount of water in that aquifer has been dropping every year since the 50s. The Department of Water Resources told us we should always be concerned about how much water sits in the aquifer, but they hope recharge efforts stabilize the aquifer in the near future. And our Abby Davis looked into it for us. Take a look. Idaho is an interesting place. We have a lot of water here. Problem is, the water isn't necessarily in the right place at the right time. Wesley Hipkey with the Idaho Department of Water Resources says our current drought isn't helping either. If we don't get a lot of snowpack, what's predictable is we'll only be able to do 150,000 acre feet. Hipkey's talking about recharging the Eastern Snake River Plain Aquifer, an underground storehouse of water in southern and eastern Idaho roughly the size of Lake Erie. Declining water in that aquifer prompted the state to recharge it, something it's done since 2014. It's a really simple concept that when there's excess water on the river, let's pull it off, put in the aquifer to build it back up. Essentially, in a good water year, they can store more water to supplement a bad water year. Hipkey says their goal is to recharge 250,000 acre feet per year. To give you an idea, an acre foot, if you fill a football field with one foot of water, that's one acre foot. So that's a lot of water. While the amount of water increased from 2016 to 2020, the aquifer has taken a hit the last two years because of the drought. On a drought year, about the most we can recharge is 150,000 acre feet. Idaho State University geology professor Paul Link says a lot of Idahoans rely on this aquifer. Right now, the, the, the spring flow is lower than it uh, would need to be for some of the fish farmers, the people who have older water rights. Hipkey says the amount of water in the aquifer impacts Idaho's economy. In between the third to a quarter of, the, of, of Idaho's economy comes from this region. And the aquifer has a direct connection to the river. So if the aquifer goes down, the amount of water coming back to the river goes down. And that weighs heavily on several different industries. But around 75% of all the trout that's used in restaurants and whatnot come from this area. And combine that with the other aspect of there's a lot of hydro plants along the river. So when the flow goes down there, there's less power produced. But with efforts to recharge the aquifer, Lincoln Hipkey are hopeful for the future. My understanding is that, that it is not uh, uh, out of control, a huge crisis. Oh my gosh, you know, uh, what, what will we do? We have water. It's just us using it the most effectively that we can. Abby Davis, Idaho's News Channel 7. Now it's important to conserve water, obviously, because everyone, not just the farmers who rely on the aquifer for irrigation water, play a role. And Link says the big takeaway here is being aware that we just don't have an endless supply of water available. I think we know that, but it's important to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm.